let's get going. Uh, this is G, G, P, E, A1. These particular objectives deal with uh, the use of equations and coordinate geometry, basically. And the very first item is that of the equation of a circle. I, I need to tell you, the way I organize my material is I actually move unit 5, which is uh, circles, to happen before this one, which is unit 4. The reason I do that is that I've spent a couple of weeks working with circles and it's a very nice transition to go from circle geometry that's not on a coordinate grid to begin to talk about the equation of a circle and to get onto the grid. All of the objectives in GPE are all about uh, geometric relationships in the coordinate plane. So here we derive the equation of a circle, we use the equation of a circle to pull out the radius, to pull out the center. And then of course we learn or relearn actually how to complete the square so that we can get uh, the information out of the equation. Now what's the big idea? Again, we've uh, this is one of the conic sections. It's uh, one of the cuts of a cone. So we begin working with something we're familiar with. The equation of a circle is derived nicely from the um, from a, uh, the Pythagorean theorem. And so it's a nice transition, easy material. Picking out center and radius is quite easy. Completing the square is an Algebra 1 topic, or even earlier, and uh, we review that. So we're connected in lots of ways. Traps and pitfalls, um, I guess, come in just the typical little um, errors. One of the big errors, of course, is if this was an equation of a circle, um, a couple things, well, let's make sure we do it right. Um, of course, the typical errors that uh, our center is at 1 and negative 2, so it's uh, an opposite of this. That's one error that's typically found. Students will often look at this and think that the, the, um, the radius is 4, but it's actually 2, because that's the square root of, of uh, of four. The equation in its basic form looks like this and so the r squared represents that full number there that's why you always have to square it and here you can see how the equation is already in a negation format and so if you're still looking at negation that means it was a positive number that went in if it's positive that means you put a negative number in to get that. Um, the other area of course is completing the square um, I love this. It's like um, putting a couple things together all, all at once, you know, where we get to the point of something like this. So I'm just making something up quickly here, but of course we each do this a little bit differently. I organize my x's and x squareds together, my y and my y squared together. And then begin to look at what do I need to put in here, what do I need to put in here, and of course always remembering that it has to be added to the other side as well. So I create these little gaps or spots to help them remember where things need to go, but this is also an area that causes trouble, and more trouble certainly when the beat value is uh, odd because you go to a decimal or a fractional value, and students certainly don't like that. But lots of good things here to uh, work on.